Hello everyone, welcome back into Thursday Night Weather. Mike Schultz with you once again. We started off this morning with a few flakes of snow, but skies cleared out and it uh, turned out to be a pretty nice day. We're looking at uh, skies to be, for the most part, pretty clear to partly cloudy right on through the weekend. And temperatures will continue to warm. This is amazing. Tonight we're going to be talking about a little warmer tonight with scattered clouds. You might even see some more auroras if the clouds clear out for you. Also, the weekend is looking just fantastic. Really, really nice weather. And you know what? Then there's no end in sight for the above normal temperatures to continue all the way through, it looks like, all of next week. So this is really amazing weather we're talking about. What's going on as far as the uh, satellite picture? You can see a lot of rain moving across southeast Alaska, and that's about it. No real organized systems down in the Gulf of Alaska. A little bit of shower activity moving across the Kenai Peninsula and the Prince William Sound area, but around the Fairbanks area, mm -mm, nothing going on there at all. As far as our map is concerned, over Ketchikan, against the rain that's falling today, 50 degrees for their high, 40 degrees and some rain around Juneau. Just partly cloudy skies at uh, Anchorage, but right at freezing, 32 degrees. Kodiak, more showers, 37 degrees. Cold Bay, 40 and cloudy. And over the west side of the state, a little cooler temperatures there, 12 degrees at Bethel and only 5 degrees at Nome. So a little pocket of cold air uh, parked over that area. North of the uh, Brooks Range, it's one below at Barrow. And Fort Yukon, seven degrees and clear skies. Lower 48 weather, the high pressure continues to be the dominant feature over the western half of the country, pouring all that moisture up over the Pacific Northwest. So Seattle and Portland, Oregon are getting uh, dumped on pretty good. Then the uh, moisture slides over that high pressure area and right on down into the central and eastern sections. A little bit of snow breaking out across the central plains, but nothing real heavy expected there. And as far as the hot temperatures, well, look what's going to be happening tomorrow in California. 10 to 20 degrees above normal, and they're feeling like it's a springtime pattern. It could be the way things are shaping up. The overall outlook for the uh, jet stream is once again calling for it to become a little more, not quite zonal, but a little more northwest to southeast and then dipping down a little bit over the eastern half of the country. But brutal cold temperatures are coming across the Great Lakes, which means a more lake effect snows going on there and uh, very cold temperatures too. Okay, time once again for our kids weather and all this week we're talking with the kids from Weller Elementary School, but tonight we're gonna hear from the teacher with a cool weather fact. Hello, my name is Mr. Kraska and this is my fifth grade class at Weller Elementary and I'm here to share a weather fact with you. Class, did you know that the strongest winds ever measured on Earth during a storm were 253 miles per hour during a cyclone north of Australia in 1993? Wow. And of course the kids are amazed like they always are. Again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather. Next week we're going to be visiting with the kids from Wood River Elementary School. All right, here's your forecast for the... Uh, state for tomorrow. For the northern sections, fog and blowing snow for Barrow. Kind of a sloppy day there. Partly cloudy skies at Nome and mostly cloudy skies in the Fort Yukon region. Here in the interior, not too bad. Just mainly partly cloudy skies at Fairbanks, mostly cloudy skies for Healy and Delta Junction. Over southeast Alaska, keep the umbrella handy. Lots of rain expected there. Cloudy with periods of rain for Juneau and Ketchikan. Temperatures a little cooler than they were today. Over the southwest part of the state, looks like rain and snow at Cold Bay. A chance of snow in Bethel and rain showers are likely for Kodiak. And over the uh, south central sections, we'll be looking at snow showers in Anchorage, cloudy skies at Homer, and rain and snow for Valdez. And as uh, temperatures go out of the airport right now, here's what it looks like. And you can see that our high today was 18 degrees. The low last night, zero, currently 11 degrees. Record high, 46, 2004, 53 below in 1932. Sunrise and sunset over the eight hour barrier, eight hours and three minutes to be exact. And as far as our forecast for tonight, scattered clouds and warmer in the hills, three degrees for the overnight low. Tomorrow's forecast, 23 degrees, becoming even warmer by afternoon and more clouds moving in the picture. And the five day outlook, you gotta love these temperatures. Look at that, 25 and 26, all the way across the board there with overnight lows also warming up very nicely to the 10 degree mark. Unheard of this time of year, amazing. We're loving it though. And our picture for tonight, this one's sent in by Keith Charlie at Minto. He was able to capture a sunset there. And as always, if you have a photograph to share, send it to photos at ktvf11.com.